Hello Scorpio, welcome to your monthly love reading. This will be for Sun and Rising and Venus. Keep in mind, energy can go vice versa and this reading will resonate with everyone. So take what fits and leave the rest out. Okay, my dear Scorpios, we have the Fire Fairy and the Hawk. Someone has an idea that's uh, set in motion here. A plan in place. Someone wants communication. Okay, but there's a spark of energy. Something's being reignited here. We have overwhelmed. The stress from this is draining me with regret. I wish this never happened. Yes, yeah, someone's uh, dwelling on the past here. Overwhelmed with uh, what they've done. Wanting to change the future is what I'm picking up here. Nine of Wands overall energy. This is about being cautious, hesitating, but still not giving up. Okay, have been through a lot. Uh, but still going to get to the goal here. So let's see what's going on in your energy this month. Three of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, and the Three of Cups. So I see a lot of success this month where you feel uh, very overjoyed with your emotions. You feel like people uh, are connecting with you on a different level, coming out of the blue as well. Uh, especially at work for some of you three of pentacles you feel like things are starting to click things are starting to get better as well as emotional fulfillment is here okay if you for some of you have been stuck in a situation with someone that a third party uh, has been present then this is the month it's finally going to be addressed okay something's shifting and changing here okay so i see good things for you this month Scorpio. This is fantastic. You guys deserve this. Uh, Knight of Wands, Fool, and the Six of Pentacles. So the energy that they're in, we have the Fire Fairy again, which represents the Knight of Wands. Uh, Fool, Six of Pentacles. So this person has an idea, okay, that they're acting upon. They have a plan set into place. With the Six of Pentacles, this is about reciprocity. So they want to give back something to you that you gave to them. Uh, there's something that they're missing being without you now. And for those of you that are still in contact with this person, uh, they feel like they've been staying in one kind of stuck mode and they haven't really stepped out of that or given you more of what you deserve. And this is about to change here. They feel uh, that this is the time to take this risk here in the full card. So let's see what's happened in the past. We have the Empress Emperor. Seven of Wands. Okay, so I see a couple scenarios here. Uh, some of you that are dealing with the third party, this person could be in a committed situation already. A marriage or uh, be responsible for that in the living situation, even if they're not. And for others of you, this could be a twin flame scenario. Okay, with the divine masculine and feminine showing up. If it's not, uh, the foundation is still the same, okay, that this person was trying to block their feelings, block the energy uh, that they really desired to do in this connection in fears of uh, giving up something that was also meaningful to them, okay? So they felt like it would shake their foundation or it would cause issues in their current environment. Uh, tell me about the Seven of Wands. Let's see. The thing is, yeah, Four of Swords, procrastination, not really wanting to look at things very clearly, Eight of Swords, feeling trapped as well. You know, there's a lot of fears and doubts that they have to move forward. Should I risk it all? Should I go in this with them and lose everything that that would be a possibility in the process? Uh, it doesn't mean that they would. These are just uh, thoughts and fears that got into their head. And I see that they felt like you are their ultimate partner, that they know they found the one, that both of you are on the same page. And more than anything, all that they desired, which they weren't telling you, is that they want to be with you more than anything, that they fantasize about a future, uh, that they just want to start building their life with you. But they felt like they were confined, not able to do this here, whether it was actually a third party or it was their mindset. Tell me about the emperor. We have King of Wands, Magician, Strength card. So they had to keep you in the game. They had to not lose you. So they would give in just enough to keep you hanging in here. Okay, I do see a lot of this this month. 
uh, where people would kind of play mind games and try to uh, keep you stuck for a reason because they couldn't let you go by any means. If they did, uh, they would be devastated more than anything. It was like, oh my gosh, I finally found the person that I truly desire and that, you know, fulfills every wish that I've ever wanted in a person. Uh, but now I can't have them. They're unattainable. So uh, they didn't want to lose you. But at the same time, they were bringing more passion into this or uh, doing things you know, on the level of keeping this connected, but not on a deep emotional level. Okay, so not giving you too much of a promise of a future. So this left you feeling trapped yourself and made you feel like you were doubting yourself at times. Like, well, maybe there's something wrong here. Maybe they don't care about me. Uh, maybe I thought that they were too good to be true. Okay, so let's see in the challenge here. We have chariots. Page of Swords and the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah. This was so slow moving at times. It felt so stuck. It was never going to change. You felt like there was no end in sight. You really did give up on the fact that this person would ever take the initiative to choose you. To want to make you a priority. And I see how they approached you in this situation. When they would talk to you, it was very cold. Or sometimes they could pick on you. Or try to push your buttons in a way to make you feel like, you know, you're not understood. And it was a strategy here because they didn't want you to think that they were going to promise to focus solely on you. So they thought that was the best route, the logical way to go. But they found out quickly here being without you or not having you the way that they used to in their life is uh, completely devastating. They don't like the feeling that they have. Uh, tell me the Page of Swords. Oh, I just heard sometimes they would just say nothing. It was like cold. So, yeah, it's like their energy was just not there. Even if they would do it, it's almost like you felt like they had to or they had to contact uh, out of doing their due diligence. Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, it. you know, how they approached it too was acting like, you know, they were the ones that were all good. Nothing was really wrong and nothing had to progress to anything more that you were very aware of how stuck things were or if it's a third party you would have to wait for a certain amount of time. Something was kind of agreed upon in the beginning because it keeps showing up that they know that you know uh, things have to be a certain way for a certain amount of time. So you know if it's your reading, if you kind of already know the circumstances and you know that there would be a period of waiting. Um, but they took advantage of it is what I see during the time that there is waiting. They didn't connect with you or bond with you during this time to make you feel connected or safe with them. You didn't feel like there was any stability. In fact, it caused more stress and made you feel anxious. I see for some of you, um, you have a lot of anxiety and actually had some anxiety issues that really caused some problems even in your normal functioning life. Uh, tell me the chariots. And it was just st starting to stress you out to way too much. Uh, King of Cups, chariots. Yeah. I mean, they're neglecting your needs. And so they're hiding the fact that they long for you. They think about you all the time. They fantasize about the future. But they still feel stuck. They're not really willing to make a move. They feel like they're just going to stay in this one spot because it's safe. And I don't have to worry about anything else. As long as I, you know, appease my person and they're going to be okay. And then I deal with my responsibilities. Whatever they're stuck into, I do see here that their heart is not there. Uh, their heart is always constantly longing for you. But they feel like their physical body has to be somewhere else. Okay, so that is for uh, a message for some. Some of the Knight of Pentacles. King of Pentacles. Yeah. It's like they, they knew what they needed to do, but they ended up neglecting your needs. Uh, I really see that they just kind of cut off communication at times, okay? And they made you feel like you weren't worth it to them, okay? And in the long run here, all I see is that that's what they desired, but they're showing you different. And I think we've had a couple readings now like this, where uh, someone really manipulates the energy or gives off a different impression and uh, ends up hurting you in the process because they're not being fair and honest with you. 
uh, allowing you to have a choice to be made. Six of Cups, Death, and the Four of Pentacles for the action they take here. So this is moving past finally, leaving uh, behind some haunting memories. Uh, this was a really difficult situation with the Death Six of Cups where two people are being torn apart, but uh, one is not being honest with the other. And now it's going to be out in the open. It's going to be addressed in a way like never before. So if this reading is resonating with you in the extended, we're going to go over exactly what change this person has in store and what they have planned, as well as what they're going to say to you moving forward, the timing and the outcome. If this is your last stop, though, my beautiful Scorpios, I love you guys so, so much, and I will see you next time.